I am fighting against this latest uh, uh, statistics saying that the proportion of women in the labor force has fallen in the last one decade. They think it's a bad thing. Why? If a woman decides that I don't want to work, my husband earns enough, so I want to spend time with my children, uh, devote uh, uh, to bringing them up properly, or if she feels I want to do other things, why should she not uh, opt out of the labor force? What is wrong? You don't think of all this. You think push more and more women into factories and jobs, then GDP goes up, then you, it is progress. Not necessarily. Many of these women working in garment factories or uh, government offices, they are not happy because they are juggling. Their husbands don't help. They go home, they try to do a full-time housewife's work as well as juggle office work. They are neither here nor there. They give a bad name to women because the bosses will say, oh, these women, they want to rush home at five o'clock. They won't do overtime. Why? Why, why can't the husband look after the children if the wife is keen on doing overtime? These questions are never raised. So my idea of feminism is not what the West says, not just earning. Economic independence is important, definitely. But it depends on individual cases. My grandmother never earned a rupee, never. But she was very happy. She was autonomous. She had autonomy to decide. She was trained in the arts. She did beautiful embroidery. She raised three children. And my grandfather would listen to her give importance to her opinions. He would check everything with her. He was a lawyer, advocate. So you can't go by just statistics. Pushing women into the labor force is not my idea of uh, feminism. 